It's like yeah, that Saudi money for sure. Saudi money, crazy car. That's crazy. Seven hundred horsepower. Seven hundred. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's nuts. Yeah, they made two. Some baller stuff. Yeah. Oh my supposed gosh. to be here tomorrow. Cool. Oh so, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, dude, re really appreciate it, man. Thank you again, Sick. Bro. Whatever you guys need, while yeah, you're yeah. here too. If you need anything, copy that. Seriously, let me know. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. How are those bikes? It's fun, yeah. It's got the clutch, yeah, it's got paddles. Like, it's oh, like some sick. real, real driving, yeah. yeah. Things spin out, so that's good. <laughs> cool. A little trouble with the clutch, though. Yeah, I definitely... Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it in or out, or...? No, I, I just don't drive manual. Like, I'm like, I should be a manual guy, but I'm... Way! Like, oh. Yeah. Oh. I don't drive them like that often, so I was kind of like... Mm. Yeah. You have to really like push on it to get it going at the beginning. So I was used to kind of easing off of it, but on yeah, this like, yeah, yeah. so you know, on a normal car, it would have been fine. Oh, oh yeah. my god! Unreleased I merch. Love Unreleased. That. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is dope. I know. We're gonna bring it out in a couple months. Bro, it's my favorite it. car. I was like, put on a shirt, I'll sell it. Bro, I love it. Oh yeah, that's sick, good. dude. Yeah, well, that's looking cool, cool, dude. Oh yeah, there we go. Boom, right there. Yeah, like <laughs> my favorite looking car. Yeah. We've got besides our F40 LM just left, but besides that, I think we have some of the Jeez. best inventory we've ever had. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I can tell I mean, you. That's that's a one off. That's a one off. That's a one off. That's obviously a one off. Dude, holy sh. Yeah. How much did they make? Is it just a one? one. They yeah, they were gonna build twenty five. They uh, it was it was planned to be it was released at the Frankfurt Motor Show. Oh yeah. And apparently, and I, I'm still interviewing all like the guys originally involved. It was uh, the CEO of Emirates. Um, oh so my God! Wow. Ahmed Al Maktoum, and he basically wanted the world's fastest car. Oh, so we went to a, a race team, Low Tech, who were building, they did like twin turbo Testarossa, stuff like that, but they were building Jeez. real race cars oh, for yeah. Le Mans. Yeah. And we believe they basically took a Le Mans chassis, like a, a Group C race car chassis, carbon tub, carbon fiber body, Mercedes V8 twin turbo, 268 miles per hour, 1,000 horsepower. This, this was made when, 90s? 1991. They wow. finished in 94, they started road testing it. What's like, what's the market value of it now? What's it's it hard for? to say. Like, Since it's a one. You know, like, so here's the best thing that I always, like, someone asked me recently. You know, so imagine back then it was 3.5 million. Yeah. Which today, that's like 7 million, 8 million yeah. bucks. That's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. It sold in 2010 for 600,000. So if you just do, like, math in 2010, that was F40, CLK GTR, yeah. like, all yeah. cars that are today, let's say, 3 million to seven eight million yeah, yeah. right so is yeah. it seven eight million no could it be one day yeah it could be i mean it's such yeah. a crazy and it's piece. one right? it's a one -on one um definitely a couple million for yeah, sure oh, right now yeah totally yeah. totally so it depends uh yeah you're you're in the range no, i want like, one so, that's where i'm like so that <laughs> is i'll buy one a fuel injected car for let's call it 600 700 rand Okay. This is a downdraft, so the, this is the carbureted, this is the most horse, horsepower of any Countach. Okay. Almost 485 horsepower. Nice. A little bit more radical because it's carbureted, yeah. so it like revs quick, it's, fa it's, it's much faster than the fuel-injected cars. Uh, this is 4,000 original miles, original tires, Whoa. original interior, wow. original stickers on the mirror. No way. Like so this, probably more. Yeah. This is probably the best I've ever seen. This sold just under 1.3. Oh wow, okay, yeah. holy shit. But let's say a 10,000 mile car, 15,000 mile car, which is still a really nice car, that's well serviced, fuel injected, is in that range. So one of one, the Concept S. This car is really special, honestly, Dude. to me. Like, if I had the money, like at the time when we first put this out, I was like, man, that is just so crazy. You taking it for a spin yet? Very slowly. These are original tires. Oh yeah. And it's only a hundred miles. So what? like, Ooh. yes, it's a new car. So we, we had it at Amelia Island. I oh. Drove it, I drove it into the show and it was bad. Oh, nice. that ass. Cause the oh my God. Just, like, wow, dude. dude Miami is growing. Safe. Miami, there's a big show next year as well. Oh okay. A massive show. So when did this come in? So I've had a, a so I've had a few. Uh, we've had of the 150 cars, there were 60 in purple. No, 70 okay. in purple. I've had nine, nine or eight of the oh, purple wow. cars. I think this is one of the coolest cars. I've filmed one, so maybe it wasn't this one, but uh, where? 
Uh, at an event out here, one of the Supercar Saturdays. There's a purple roadster. They made a few. There's a purple roadster that goes to that event. Yes, yes, yes. It was a roadster. Okay, yeah. so it's a guy that has a purple roadster. This yeah. Is a, yeah, SE30. So. You guys have a Countach S5000? Uh huh. Yep. Uh, there's a 5000S. Oh, God. This was actually the founder of Chick fil A. New, it went to the designer of the Coke bottle, the Root family. Oh, okay. And then he was visiting them because they were a big Coke reseller. Yeah, yeah. And he knew them from the industry and he ended up buying this from them. Huh. And he had it for wow. years. And then I found it in Italy. It actually went back to Italy at one point. Oh, wow. So, yeah, very cool story. A thousand miles. This is 700 original miles, one off color. Every, almost everything we had is super low miles. That was delivered new to Mario Andretti. There's oh, great wow. photos of him with that car. That's one of one. Ooh. Diablo GT2. Uh, one of 31 yellow F50s. Wow. Uh, this is cool story. Remember in Wolf of Wall Street, the beginning where Jordan Belfort says, my test, no, my test Russell was white, like Don Johnson. This was his yeah. actual oh, car. Yeah. Oh. So this was his car in 1991. He bought it brand new. Really? Yeah, and then he crashed it into a bridge. Oh. <laughs> and then it sold, and then it ended up in the UK. Oh, no way. Yeah, and then someone called me, and I'm like, dude, I gotta have it. Like, that's, dude, that's yeah. so cool. Holy I got shit. him in a video a couple, like, oh, no way. two years ago. Yeah. Okay. At his place, yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> He's a legend, yeah. That's cool, yeah. He's like our generation's Al Capone. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, people, like, are obsessed with, like, infamous characters. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Plus 30, so about $60 million at any given point. Fuck yeah. The F40 LM would have actually, because that was almost 10 million bucks. Oh, so wow. Like, just pocket change. Yeah, that'll be a good, yeah, that's a good intro. On TikTok, it's like, fucking go. <laughs> Welcome to Curated and check out our $60 million car collection. Oh, so that's, that's five. Oh, my gosh. Mercy Lago. If you were the Lamborghini King, I'd say. Yeah. I don't know about King, but we love them. I'll, I'll give you the title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an honor. Humble. You're that's humble. an honor. <laughs> that's an... All right, three, two. So this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. Countach engine out here. Another Countach. Another Countach engine out. <laughs> Diablo here. Diablo GT. Diablo Countach. Countach. Espada. <laughs> Murcielago manual. And I think there's a couple more Diablos and Countachs. See, you are the Lamborghini <laughs> king, bro. So you're mostly done with Lamborghinis here? I love vintage Lamborghinis. It's what I know best. Uh, so. I focus on what I know best. That is a Lamborghini Espada. That is one of the original oh, yeah. 60s, 70s uh, V12 front engine, four seat Lamborghini Espada. Oh, whoa. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, because I mean, that was the first time, I, this is the second one I've ever seen in person. Way ahead of their time. I mean, fuck, this just looks beautiful and insane. Yeah. So if you do the math from, let's say, 1975 to 1988, it's not a lot of cars, it's like 1,200 cars. Oh. So you think of how many years, I mean, they yeah. made 1,200 F40s yeah. from 87 to 92. So yeah. when you think of the production numbers, it's all, it's pretty low. It's just weird, like I, I don't see, like I've filmed like a lot of F40s for some reason, yes. even though there's like a limited number. Yeah. I never really, like in LA maybe, like I just don't get Countach's that much. I feel like the owners are they maybe are, like. They are rare, and I would say in the US they are rare. Yeah. There's probably less than in the US. I'm gonna throw out less than 400 cars. Yeah, yeah. So. What's special about this? Well, this is not just any 288 GTO, holy grail. Hey, hey, hey. Dylan, what's up, what's up? How are you? I'm a hugger, actually. I don't know why you're shake. What's up? I love that no one here Come said here. that's you. Everyone knows who you are. Yeah. No one here said that's you. And Nandina's like, boom! <laughs> I walked in, there's a Ferrari. Windows down, a bag in the copilot seat. I'm like, no, that's not what his. does no, he do no, for no. a living? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. <laughs> Should see our car this weekend. It's like a Toyota Corolla. Yeah, yeah, we got the Corolla out there. What? Yeah. I used to, I used to, I, when I came here, I used to Ferrari get like then? Ferraris and stuff like that, and now I just like don't want to deal with the stress. Because <laughs> you know, traffic sucks. Because I don't know the streets out here. Uh, white Countach is my white favorite Kuntosh. aesthetically looking car. Really? In oh, I'm sure. Yes. Yes, I think it's like just a spaceship on wheels. It really is art, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, I really like Chiron's. So what's your favorite car I curated? My Countach. Yeah. It, it, it really doesn't, yeah. I just don't think That's a car, it? I think this is the best looking car made ever. Right now? Yes. Against all of these? That's my man, bro. Yeah, That's it like is. my guy. It just is, it just is. Yeah, it's just, they just got it right. Yeah. I just like wedge cars a lot. Yeah. Like I really like F40s a lot too. Mm -hmm. I think they look sick. You know what else is crazy is the, Val the Aston Martin, the Valkyrie. The, Dude, the one that car's insane. Three, two, one.
All right, so where do the people find you? What is your usernames? Shout yourself out. We are Curated, wearecurated.com, and Curated TV on YouTube, and we are located in the heart of downtown Miami. Go check them out. What are you doing? <laughs> love it. Thank you so yeah, much, you guys. This was awesome, awesome dude. Great video, dude. Bro, it's so dope. Blast. Thank you, guys. I'm like, I'll Sorry, give you up this <laughs> part. <laughs> yeah, they made two. So they made this one. It was for folded tires. Oh, whoa. And then the Saudi Sheik was like, I want it. And they're like, no, we're not selling it. So he's like, build me one. Oh, my gosh. So I built another one, yeah. Some baller stuff. Yeah, it's supposed gosh. to be here tomorrow. Cool. Oh, so, yeah. Cool. Well, yeah. dude, re really oh, appreciate it, man. Thank you again, Sick, bro. Whatever you guys need while you're here, too. If you need anything, copy that. Seriously, let me know. We got a roof gimbala Rambo Shmambo. Extremo! Hey. hey! Wow! The color is amazing. Wow! That's sick! It's a Gambala roof called an Extremo. It's insane. 97. You've never seen anything. In person? Oh, in person, it's insane. Yes, dude. dude. Yes, oh, yes. My yes. God. I'm like what? eBay's number one low what tech is this? collector. Um, this is a uh, rally racing magazine with uh, a centerfold spread about the low tech. And then we also have a, um, I guess this is kind of like a factory. Brochure, so to speak. Look, look at this with the press release. We got to translate that. That's yeah, we wrong. need this translated. And then look at this. You ready for this? Okay, this is how crazy. Look, buddy sends this to me. The copy of Sports Car International with the low tech conveniently has the SC30 on the cover. I never knew this existed. All right, ready for this? Drum roll. Hold on. Hold on. John eBay purchases. Look what I bought almost a week ago. I and didn't he, even realize didn't know the low tech was in. No, how crazy is that? Now we have literally every low tech magazine. Wow. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, this is a letter like signed by somebody. You see that? Yeah. Oh, Look wow. Look at that. That is fantastic. Dang, that those gold. wheels are sick. Isn't that so cool? Like that. <laughs> Come on, man. I cannot have you on the YouTube awesome. like that. Let's get a good picture of me and you. Our resident no. No. officer. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Man, there's probably no good place to actually take this yeah. right now. F1 weekend in Miami. It's way cooler in person. Bro, those turbos are crazy. Twin turbo, completely absurd car. I would say that photos do not do this car justice. The shape and the wide body and then this low, low, low roof of the hard top. And what's cool is you don't realize until you see the car in person just how much of this is different from a normal 911. The entire front clamshell is now its own piece. It actually opens like a Mira. It's full carbon, full carbon body. Um, I think the doors are even carbon. The whole roof is carbon, exposed carbon in parts of it. So this is just completely, completely insane. And when you think about 
you know, someone building this car in 97, the fit and finish is actually very, very nice. Uh, the quality of all the carbon work. Um, and then you look at this car and you're like, what? What is that? <laughs> what is that? And it's actually really easy to drive. When you think of, you know, a 700 horsepower car, this is like a train. Very fast. This is not a slouch. And uh, I wasn't going to put on my seatbelt just yet because it's a full racing harness, but I probably will because this is way faster than I imagine. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> it's just so cool. And what I think makes this car so interesting is it came up for auction and no one realized just how special it was. Factory uh, built Gambala, and not just that, uh, one of the largest, I would say one of the, the, the most knowledgeable Porsche collectors in the world, an incredible eye for details. He buys the car and then he starts taking it apart and he redid the whole interior and he was doing all his you know, when he dials a car, he gets it perfect. I mean, if anybody can do a better job than curate it, it's him. <laughs> and uh, when when he dialed this car in, he took out the seats and he noticed that it was all basically roof components and then realized that it's basically a roof drive chain. So completely, completely insane. This is essentially a BTR3 engine, but with twin turbos, um, roof ECU. Cop right there. Let's see. Yeah. Is he in the car? I can't tell. Uh, yeah. He is. So we aren't going to give you uh, right now. Wow. <laughs> Zero lag. That's the twin turbos. Very linear. And this car is so light, you feel it. It's like a go-kart. It really feels like just a... It's, this is a, a big boy's toy. Well, essentially, this car uh, was originally developed in partnership with Fulda and Gambala, and I would say that probably the most interesting part of the story is Fulda also developed uh, with Mer Maybach and Mercedes the Accelero. So they built these, they're, they're known for these one-off concepts. The Fulda car is still with Fulda. They've never sold the car from my understanding. And apparently the a, a gentleman from the Middle East wanted the car. Uh, they would not sell him the car, so he had one built. Uh, basically at a cost of almost two million dollars. Um, it, it sounds crazy, but when you look at all of the differences, um, you look at all of the carbon work, and then when you open the front bonnet and you see all of this really intricate details, this is not a body kit by any means. This is a real deal uh, supercar. say that is to me the best part of being around these cars is being able to share them with really passionate people and whether it's a gentleman in his Porsche or a young kid on the street somewhere that's the beauty of this is is seeing people smile thumbs up certificate of authenticity it's always exciting when we get a new car we're never jaded but when something arrives and it looks better than it does in photos um, I just think that's the most incredible gift um, this car is completely it's so special in person you see how much uh, time was invested in this car and you know between the designers and all the engineers and builders so very very cool piece of history um, and excited to now go chase a Koenig Testarossa and chase a few other cars so stay tuned a lot of really cool stuff coming